looking forward to the 1964 campaign, that he felt he was going to win big. So he was eager. Texas was one of those states he was after. I rode in the Secret Service car right behind them, and uh, I was in the jump seat in line with the president and John Conley. And the crowds were tremendous. Coming down from that short flight from Fort Worth to Dallas, I'm talking to the president, Jackie, in the back of the plane, uh, and I said, Mr. President, you wave to the Texans on the right, and Jackie will wave to the ones on the left. And this is exactly what's happening when the first shot was fired. I had heard the noise. I'm looking at the president at the same time, and he, he had pulled his hand uh, toward his throat, and he fell over toward Jackie. There's a second shot, and, and now Governor Conley is out of sight. The first two sort of came close together, but now we're riding and praying. And now we see the shot that hit the president in the head. And then it's just a race, one doctor after another, and it was a tiny room. And I had a chair for Jackie outside of it, and every now and then she'd go in and, and you know, some doctor or a nurse would take her out because there wasn't any room there. Maybe about 15 minutes later, a priest arrived, and, and uh, when he went in to give the president the last rites of the church, Jackie went in again, and, and it was such a uh, sad day. We left the hospital, and we uh, carried the casket on Air Force One, you know, sort of forcing it in. They made a section in the back by removing some seats. It was the longest ride of my life. I kept thinking that it didn't happen. And uh, I had blood on my, my right sleeve coat and on the shirt. And all I'd have to do was look down and, and realize it, it wasn't a nightmare or a bad dream, that it had really happened. One of the saddest things about the, the tragic day in Dallas is what might have been. You know, they, today and tomorrow, uh, we shall miss him. And we will never know for sure how different this world of ours might have been had fate enabled him to complete his agenda. I believe he was on a roll.